If you've ever wondered how professionals seem to swing the club so smoothly and effortlessly, but still hit the ball miles, then the information in this video will go some way to help you understand that. So all those swings, of course, have great balance. They have great control over the club face and also are creating huge club head speed. And the only way we can get all of those three is to have really effective wrist action within our swing. So during the swing, our arms are going to rotate, particularly down at the bottom of our swing. You can see my arms rotating over. But the wrists are going to be hinging. Now that motion is simply a vertical action of my wrists like so. So all I'm doing is I'm pulling my right hand back towards me and creating a 90 degree angle between my lead arm and the club shaft. Any swing that doesn't have that kind of wrist hinge is going to be seriously limited for power and typically a golfer would then use their body way more than they need to and pull themselves off balance. So let's imagine a golfer was holding the club too tightly and they're a little bit anxious and too stiff in the backswing. The swing would end up looking a little bit clumsy and of course without balance you wouldn't also have the, the club head speed and the control we need as well. The best way to, to achieve that correct hand and arm action is to simply think about this concept in the backswing and that is to create an L shape between your lead arm and the club shaft. And of course to do that, that's simply extending my hands away from me and hinging my wrists. Now through the downswing, I'm going to be moving forwards. You can see at this point my wrists are still hinged. At the bottom of the swing, they'll unhinge with great force and speed into the follow through. And on the other side, there's an opposite L shape. So my right arm is now extended and of course my wrists here have hinged once again. A great way to, to practice this is by using a, a fairly lofted club, keeping your feet fairly close together, which will challenge your balance, and just simply hit a few gentle shots with your attention on your L shapes. So that's the L shape in the backswing, and then as you swing through at about three quarters speed, try and hold your follow through at the end, and just notice the structure of your arms. You may find that this bit is quite a bit harder than you think. So if you want to create maximum club head speed, have good balance, and also control the face angle, then it's absolutely vital that we know how to use our wrists during the swing. <laughs> 